Hello there guys, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Seeks of all ages, my name is Coach Shadonks the Bomb, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park newsroom update, where today we're going to be looking at not the 100% complete designs for, for the reality finishing product, but we're going to be looking at some concepts to give us a rendition of what could be the realistic design for the new holiday park for Plopsa Landy Pan in the next couple of years. So, uh, some new designs and concepts have come out from the park. We're going to be having a look at them as well as sharing uh, the details on this project, the difference between uh, the then concept for this holiday park and now, and share the details of all of that, as well as some statements from the park themselves on the brand new concepts. So, before we get started, guys, with all of that, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, cut the notification bell so you never miss another thrilling YouTube video. We are getting closer and closer to 2,200 subscribers. I've had so much support on the channel over the last few weeks, especially um, from you know expressions, AFTV, Thogden, Thogdad, uh, loads of different people in the YouTube community, big personalities in the YouTube community. Everyone at the football terrace loves it. So, a massive shout out to all of you for supporting it in the YouTube community. Massive shout out to the Channel Nation for all your support over the last two and a half years, isn't it? Nearly two and a half years, which is weird uh but last the uh, last two and a half years you've been so supportive and let's keep that going guys we're nearly at one million views as well so let's get that up there and all also guys make sure you go in the description down below where not only can you find links to twitter tiktok instagram and snapchat and also the discord server for the channels where you yes you the coast shell fan base can get involved with the channel nation and interact with other coast shell fans on the server you can also find the link to google forms as well as a link to the article for this video but specifically google forms as well where you can submit your video ideas and content suggestions and for now guys stay tuned for more in the future and let's get on with talking about the holiday park concept images for plops landed back so as the concepts fly on your screen let's have a look at looping's article on this story to see more about the new concepts and the design modifications from previous years so the plans for a large holiday park at plops landed pan are becoming more and more concrete New designs and floor plans show what the Plopsa bungalows will look like and the intention is to create holiday homes that are dedicated to Studio 100 characters such as Clown Bumba, Piet Pratt and Vicky the Viking of course the main character for the Wikiland in the Plopsa under Pan Park and of course the new one coming to a holiday park for this year. The current setup differs from the concept that was released back in the autumn of 2019. Back then there was still a large pond around which the houses will be built. Popsland now envisions a smaller pond which is connected to a harbour in the Pier Prat section. Now a large prey ground in the shape of a lighthouse must be placed next to the harbour and a wadi has been drawn in the heart of a holiday park, an infiltration facility for rainwater. Now, Popsa emphasizes that the designs shown are not yet 100% definitive and an explanation suggests that these images give an idea of the architectural elaboration and they have a purely illustrative value. The number of houses were also adjusted where previously there was 83, 76 have now been drawn. They are suitable for 6, 8 or 12 people. Houses for 10 people have made way for 8 person houses suitable for wheelchair users and the whole department is being realized on the location of Camping Tier Hove, which was taken over by Plopsa a few years ago. In addition to the bungalows, space is provided for caravans and tents, and the project altogether is set to be worth 30 million euros. Overall, this looks like a wonderful place to stay close to the heart of the magic of Plops Underpan theme park. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages. That is looking at the Plopsa Holiday Park concepts. Uh, wonderful, wonderful designs there from the park. Massive shout out to the park for sharing those designs and showcasing those designs. Um, really good, really looking good, you know, and, you know, the design of them were really nice. I love the, the, the collage of themes. It doesn't feel like a clash of themes. Obviously, we spoke about uh, different characters like the Bumba. We know this, we know the clown character Bumba is going to get a huge feature at Plops Land Japan uh, with the Bumba Kids area, which I think is going to be 2023, I think. So, um, I think 2024, I think 2023, Four or 2022 is the holiday park and obviously 2023 I think it's the Bumba Kids area or it could be 2024 but I know Bumba's going to be getting its own kids area with some kind of dark ride instead of a children's coaster so uh, I know Bumba's going to feature in a whole new way 
with plop signed Japan. So it was important that they got their own area in the holiday park because of the increase in characterization within the theme park. Uh, Piet Pratt, I'm not too sure on much on that character, but it's glad they've got their own section. And Wiki the Viking part of the Wikiland area so it's good to see them expanding the Wikiland theme in the holiday park and um, I like how they've made uh, houses for wheelchair users the disability factor is always you know I'm always a, a, a pro campaigner for more disability access in theme parks I might not be disabled but I am a big um, supporter of having more disabled access in theme parks so uh, massive respect to Plop Sander Pam for making those changes and making more access for wheelchair users and disabled uh, people um, so wonderful for the part to do that and again like I said it's a collage of themes going on with the Studio 100 characters not a clash of themes and I like how it's a smaller pond rather than a large pond because uh, there's going to be more houses now which is nice so um, even though there's a drop in houses, I think there'll be more where the large pond was going to be. Of course, that's sort of small and down now. Small and is that even a word? I don't know. Um, but I'm a huge fan of this. I'm a really huge fan of this. And, um, you know, Plus Underpan's got a really exciting future. We know this year they've got that massive new Mac Extreme spinning coaster for 2021. And like I said, the Bumber Kids area coming in the next couple of years as well. So... They've got a lot of stuff coming on in the next few years, and I think the future is only going to go up for Pop Sander Pan for me. So, uh, massive respect to them for doing all of that. And, you know, the concepts itself look amazing. The lighting is spectacular. Um, the design of the bungalows, and of course, the space for the tents and the caravans looks amazing. Real love the planning image as well. We showed that right at the end of the concepts. Uh, the planning image for where everything's set to be laid out. It's a huge, huge site. They bought it a few years ago, it's a huge site. And they've done really well to work with the space they've got with the site. And I'm sure there's plenty of room to expand uh, in the future once this is open. So uh, this is becoming even more concrete now with these plans. Obviously, it's not 100% definitive. This is what it's going to look like. However, if it's in the style of this, I'd be very happy. So um, there's not really any negatives or constructive criticism I could pick from those concept arts, to be perfectly honest. Because uh, I think it's got a nice collage of themes and a nice... Um, graceful beautiful style about it so there's not really much I can constructively criticize about these concepts so I think if they're done in that style in the real thing I'd be a very happy guy I'd be a very happy bunny we're getting close to Easter so I'm a very happy bunny uh, but thank you very much guys for watching this theme park news update on Plops Underpan's new holiday park concept images different from the autumn 2019 ones make sure you like comment subscribe click the notification bell so you never miss another youtube video we're gonna get so much content out in the next few months so much content once lockdown's over and if the parts can open at the end of march hopefully i want to try and get at least one visit in there just one before april uh, but if not then you know we have to wait until the summer and halloween to do that uh, but obviously, you know, there's still be loads of content coming here from the studio. Uh, loads of next five years videos in the works. Loads of reacts videos as well. We're going to be reacting to some Alton Towers commercials, Thought Park commercials. I'd love to do more of them. Keep breaking it down and uh, keep doing loads of these videos for you guys because the more news updates and the more content that comes to us, we can deliver to you. Uh, so thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Chell. Keep living the coast of life. I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a plopsa-tastic day.